Hi guys, I have been spending a lot of time alone recently and it's not because I'm a loner, okay, I have friends, I promise. I have friends, they're just really busy because a lot of them work full time and they're like on vacation and I'm at home making videos and yes i do live with my family but that doesn't mean i'm hanging out with them 24 7 because they're busy people they got a lot of stuff to do they have jobs and various things that they do so i'm basically essentially home alone a lot of the time not even home alone but just like by myself recently i've been thinking a lot about the topic of being alone and just kind of like the concept of not always being with people and being okay with that and being okay with spending time with yourself and really getting to know yourself. So I'm dedicating an entire video to showing you guys ways to romanticize and enjoy spending your time alone and also just kind of forcing myself to romanticize time alone because I feel like for me it can be really easy just to kind of get into routine of doing the same thing every day, not leaving the house, but I'm kind of just done with that and I want to switch it up and it's summer and I need to get outside and do stuff and and I just want to take you guys along with that. Hopefully it can help you out if you are struggling with enjoying spending time alone or if you just need any ideas on like what to do when you're not hanging out with people. Also, I just want to say that it is very important to socialize and like hang out with people and connect with people. I feel like that is one of the core things that makes humans humans is that we interact with each other and we have these relationships and friendships and stuff like that. Like I think it's absolutely amazing and important, but it's also important to be okay with like yourself and spending time with yourself and to learn to have fun by yourself because there's a lot of times in life where we are lonely or we just are alone everyone around us is busy we don't have people to go to 24 7 and so that's kind of why I'm making this video because you should romanticize every aspect of your life romanticize hanging out with your friends romanticize being by yourself and not even just like romanticize because I feel like that's an easy word to just like stick onto things when we're talking about them to make it seem cooler but the fundamental I feel like I already said that word in this video but like the fundamental core thing that I'm talking about here is being okay with being by yourself sometimes and learning to enjoy and appreciate a long time okay now that that's out of the way we are gonna go well <laughs> my hair is like okay what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go to the city and get a coffee and I'm gonna force myself not to work because I feel like something that I do a lot is I go and do something kind of fun like go to a coffee shop but then I work while I'm there which is totally okay like that's okay but it's also totally fun and okay to go out by yourself and do something fun even if it's not technically productive also this is my outfit and I can't decide if I'm giving middle-aged man 12 year old boy or fashion Pinterest icon it's kind of everything in between but I'm trying to just like branch out with my style we're branching out with what we're doing I really don't know what I'm saying at this point so I'm gonna go I'm gonna go Okay guys, so I got my coffee and walked around for a little bit and I tried to like sit on the steps and be all mysterious and like pretend I live in New York and like I'm just sitting on the steps of my house. But I think I was accidentally just hanging out on someone's front porch because a man came outside and he asked me if I was okay, which was like very nice. Like thanks for checking in on me. But I got embarrassed and it's also 90 degrees and I'm really sweaty. You can probably see like I'm kind of a mess right now. So I'm gonna... Actually, right now I'm gonna go to the grocery store and get myself some flowers, maybe get myself a little snack. Um, I didn't get lunch while I was in the city, I don't know why. I went up to the register to order and I was gonna order like some sort of food, but my mind just went on default and I just ordered an iced vanilla latte instead of getting something new and creative or getting like food, actual substan substance for my body. But yeah, I'm gonna go buy myself flowers. Okay y'all, we secured flowers and I have to say, I don't know why, but like the grocery store is literally my go-to place to get... The grocery store, the, I don't know. I was just kind of being spontaneous, roaming the aisles, not doing anything crazy, but it's just fun to like kind of hang out by yourself sometimes. And also, 
if you can drive, take advantage of the fact that you can drive and listen to whatever music you want while you're driving because it is so much fun. I love like just being able to listen to whatever music I want, be as weird as I want, mouth along to the lyrics, whether I'm doing it correctly or not. Like just listening to music by yourself is such a vibe. So 10 out of 10 recommend doing this if you need an idea of like what to do. <laughs> Why did I just do that? Okay, by yourself. I'm gonna go home now. I think I'm gonna like film this video over the course of a few days because I don't wanna overwhelm myself with doing too many fun things in one day. So I'm gonna go home. topic of getting to know yourself better and getting in tune with yourself I started thinking a lot about my past self and I think a lot of times I avoid thinking about my past self just because it reminds me of like the cringy moments the embarrassing moments the moments where I messed up but that person is still me and that person is still a version of me and without that version of me I would be who I am today so I think it is important to spend some time occasionally every now and then looking back on your past self and reflecting so when I was younger I was a very creative person like I was always making stuff and I had way too much free time on my hands so I was that kid that was stealing shampoo from my parents shower to make slime and building like little bedding machines and building Lego sets and making things out of Lego bricks I would crochet I would try to make little business things I would bake I would just do all that type of stuff and as I've gotten older I've kind of lost touch with a lot of those things that I used to do as a child just because I'm like too busy now so all of that being said today I'm gonna tune into my creative side once again and I'm gonna be building a Lego set with you guys and I'm so excited to announce that this video is sponsored by the Lego group, which I've worked with them before, but it still feels so crazy to say that because I have been a huge fan of the Lego group for pretty much my entire life, especially as a younger kid, like that was my go-to thing to do. And so I'm super excited to be tapping back into that passion of mine today. And while I build this, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys a little list that I made the other day when I was reflecting on my past self. And I'm gonna be sharing with you guys 13 things that I would tell my 13 year old self. Okay, so the first thing that I would tell my 13 year old self is I would say that it's important to tap into multiple passions and don't limit yourself from trying new things or don't limit yourself to only a few passions because it can be so easy to figure out what you're good at and then only stick to that because you don't want to embarrass yourself with being bad at something and that was me with sports for the longest time and it still kind of is but I've definitely improved a lot like I used to not even attempt to play sports because I told myself in my mind I was so bad at it I realized that there's actually some sports that I enjoy and yes some sports are horrible but some are actually really fun to do Okay, this is what we have going so far. The next thing that I would tell my 13 year old self is embrace the things that make you unique because I mean, this is kind of self-explanatory, but like I can remember so many times in my life where I wanted to do something but I didn't do it because it was different and like it wasn't what other people were doing. Embracing the passions that you have, embracing the hobbies that you have, really leaning into them. If you have like a different personality than other people, that's okay. Embrace it. It's okay to make mistakes and even though it's not fun to make mistakes and it can feel kind of embarrassing at times, it is super important to make mistakes sometimes and to allow yourself to make mistakes and to be okay with that and to learn and grow from the mistakes that you make. Everything works out in the end and I can think about so many times in my life when I have just completely lost it stressing over something that in the moment seemed really big but like in the grand scheme of things it doesn't matter it's not fun to stress stress doesn't actually help anything it fogs your mind from actually thinking of a good solution be patient with yourself this is something that has been so huge for me to learn and that I'm still working through because it is so easy to just beat yourself up over something and it's really just not worth it a lot of times it's better just to like try to do better but not be yourself up slow progress is so progress this has been something I have told myself for so long just because your progress doesn't look like someone else's progress does not mean that it's not good and does not mean that it's not progress and does not mean that it's not good progress and progress can look like this I think I saw like a Pinterest quote or something it was something about like progress can look like I'll see if I can find it and just put it on the screen because I don't know how to explain it it's better to go on a walk than to not go on a walk it's better to eat 
a little bit healthy than to not eat a little bit healthy. Like it's just better to put in some effort and do your best. Take more candid photos and videos. It is so insane how we live our everyday lives, but like a lot of our lives we will forget. And while it's important to yes, live in the moment and not stress and not be taking photos 24 seven, it's also important to document a lot of your life. And I feel like I used to only take photos if they were like Insta worthy or whatever, but now I just really try to take photos and videos of the moment and what I'm doing and of people and of things around me. And yes, it's fun to take cute little photos and pose and be a little fake sometimes, but it's also important to just take funny, random videos when you're hanging out with your friends. Embrace being a kid while you can. Embrace being able to do like immature childish things in uh, the most respectful way possible. Something is only embarrassing if you let it be embarrassing and embarrassment is 99% of the time in your head. I used to get so embarrassed by like the most mundane little things. And it's just like, it's really not that deep. It's really not that embar really not that embarrassing. And it's so much better just to laugh at yourself if something quote unquote embarrassing happens. Be more spontaneous. I'm a huge fan of planning things out and kind of like preparing for the future. But at the same time, it's so important not to let that take away from the spontaneity of the moment. It's really all about just finding that balance between planning a little bit, but also not stressing too much if things don't go perfectly your way and just kind of being spontaneous and letting life happen sometimes. Nobody cares as much as you care if you think you look ugly that day no one actually cares and it's really not worth stressing over but then on the flip side no one cares if you ruin your life as much as like it's not going to affect them as much as it affects you so like you have to be in charge of your life and in, in charge of your schedule and in charge of getting your life together so okay for some reason i totally forgot to say number 12 when i was filming this but number 12 is comparison kills creativity and i could go on and on for literally hours about this the basic idea is that if you're comparing yourself to other people it takes away your creativity because you're trying so hard to fit in with them and be like other people and one up other people's ideas instead of coming up with your own so just kind of Stay in your lane and appreciate other people's work without feeling the need to compare yourself. The bunny is finally finished and I have to say this was absolutely rejuvenating and so much fun and I just feel like I was really connecting with my passions and things that I have like haven't done in a while. I just realized I didn't give you guys my 13th thing and that was it's okay to relax and not have the perfect routine. It's okay to not be perfect. It's okay to not do all the perfect things. You guys should definitely click the link in my description to check out the Lego group and see the variety of sets and amazing Lego bricks and Lego sets that they have. The Lego group is currently running a campaign called Play Unstoppable. Playing Unstoppable means celebrating all the amazing ways that girls can use their imaginations and creativity to explore their unlimited passions with confidence. And I really, really love this campaign because it's such a great way to uplift girls and inspire them to tap into the things that they're passionate about. Thank you once again to the Lego group for sponsoring this video. I love you guys and let's get back into the video. V video. I have been spending some time outside today just like kind of soaking up the sun, trying to get a little tan, reading my book, which is very weird for me. I haven't been a reader in a long time. Like I used to be a huge fan of reading and that was something that my inner child, not my inner child, but like my actual <laughs> My actual childhood self was obsessed with reading books. Like it was kind of a problem and now I have the opposite problem where I can't get myself to read. And it's not because I don't like reading. I think it's just because like my problem is that I always feel like I have something better to do. And I also have a terrible attention span. And so kind of just like the combo of those two things has kept me from reading for like the past four to five years, which is so bad. I'll like buy a book and have it sitting by my nightstand for literally a year and then I move on to the next one. But this summer I have decided to change that and I have been semi-consistent with reading. Like I'm only on chapter two of this so I can't really say anything yet. And then I also journaled a little and I know I talk about journaling so much on my channel it's probably like we get it girl you journal but i don't even journal that much i journal maybe like twice a week it's not anything crazy another problem i've noticed that i have that i'm trying to work on is i'll notice that i'm technically alone like there's no other people around me but i'm not actually alone with just me and my thoughts because i'll have a podcast going i'll have music playing i'll have a youtube video i'll be checking social media i'll be on the phone with someone that's a lie i don't 
really call people that much, but you get the idea. Like basically, I'll be alone, but I'm not actually alone and present. I feel like in order to be able to actually enjoy spending time by yourself, you have to be okay with spending time by yourself, not with like all of these other channels of information and stuff going in at all times, which is something that I struggle with a lot. I'm not trying to like make this a how-to video as much as I am just reflecting on where I'm currently at. I don't know why this is getting so deep all of a sudden, but yeah, I've been spending time outside. I love spending time outside. If you have nothing better to do with your time or you're just like spending a day alone, I 100%, 100% recommend going outside, journaling, reading, or just like laying in the sun, listening to music. Like it doesn't have to be that deep. I pretty much never go swimming by myself because it just seems like such a group activity to do. But it's also kind of fun because then you're not worrying about how you look. Like you can just go swimming and it doesn't matter because you're just by yourself. That's embarrassing. Today has been a little bit of a sick day for me. It's kind of been one of those days where it's like I'm kind of sick. Like my throat is super sore and my lymph nodes feel like I'm swollen. Like I feel like I have no jawline. Like it just feels so swollen right here. And I've just been feeling very tired. But it's not quite sick enough to be like laying in bed all day. So I took a nap. So I have been wanting to redo my vision board for a little while. Like I kind of have like a little vision bulletin type of board above my desk and i haven't replaced the photos in like two years and it's kind of crazy because just like looking over these photos a lot of this stuff has actually come true for me like for example i had this million subscriber plaque on here two years ago when i made this board and now i have my own plaque which is like so insane just like a lot of little details in here that i didn't even think about when i was printing out these photos have come true for me for example i literally own this shirt now i own a north face puffer jacket i don't know about the pancakes that's not really relevant to this but just a lot of this stuff has come true i don't want to get rid of everything on this because some of these quotes and stuff i still really like and they still help me a lot just to look to them and then i just have some cute little personal things as well so tonight i spent some time on pinterest just like figuring out some new photos that align with some new goals that i have and i made a little collage and i'm gonna cut them out and put them on the board and while i do that i made this little like coffee under eye mask that my sister recommended My sister recently started doing this like homemade coffee under eye mask and it looks really like bougie and cool kind of and I haven't really tried it before so she gave me the recipe that she's been using and I'm gonna put this under my eyes and do my skincare and all that type of stuff kind of simultaneously while I'm doing this vision board. I might also put on a movie, depends on what I'm feeling because I haven't watched a movie by myself in so long and I just feel like it's so fun to watch movies by yourself every now and then because you can pick whatever movie you want and you don't have to worry about if the other person likes it and you can react to whatever you want. Like if you don't wanna have any reactions, you don't have to force your reactions to please the other person. And if you have a lot of reactions, you don't have to like tone it down. You can just react and be however you want, which I love. That's one thing I love about hanging out with myself is like, there's no one to judge me. There's no one, there's no judgment here. And then I also went to the grocery store and I got this immunity shot. Cause like I said, I have a sore throat and very swollen lip nose right now. So I was like, hey, why not try, why not try this immunity shot and see if it's like good. And then I also got these like chia pudding things that are really good and kind of healthy for you. So I'm going to eat these and I don't have to share with anyone because I'm by myself. I got my own snacks, so. Spending time alone, working on yourself. Okay.
it wasn't that bad it just was like the after effect the ginger in my throat a lot okay i'm gonna go ahead and put this under eye mask on work on my vision board and just kind of have a nice chill little evening to myself and yeah <laughs>